What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to learn how to create annotations in our project. Okay, so in this exercise, we are going to work with tag and leader types to create an annotated HVAC documentation plan. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to change my view. I will open level 2 HVAC doc plan. Just double click that one. <clears throat> And then after that, I'm going to zoom into this uh, area here. Okay, so now to create text, you can type the shortcut TX or you can select it from the Quick Access Toolbar or you can go to the Annotate tab and then select Text. So you have three options to create text, okay? So I'm going to select the text and then after that, uh, from the Properties, here is your type selector for the text. So currently, the type is 3 over 32 inch aerial. So you can click that drop down arrow if you want to see the other options that you can use to create your text. But I'm going to use the 3 over 32. Okay. And then after that, if you look here at your alignment panel, so this is your alignment tool here. Okay. So I'm going to select here center align center so that's the justification that i would like and also i'm going to select here middle align okay so i will select that one and then after that i'm going to now pick here okay so i'll just pick and then i will type now the text all caps so let's say that is run up through Open web joist. And then just click outside once you finish to terminate your text. There you go. And then just select modify. So you can click this one. And then after that, you can actually drag that. And then you see that blue node there. You can drag that if you want to change the length of your text okay so you can use that to reposition it now the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add a leader line so by the way if you notice that your text here is a bit big you can still change that one so you can still select the text and then you can change from here okay so just always remember that so let's say 1 over 16 so it will change right and then again you can compress that by clicking that blue node okay so it's up to you how do you want that to be seen in your project so again you can click your text you can use that move icon and drag that to put it somewhere here now to place here a leader line so what you can do is you can select the text and then after that you can see here the leader panel so there's the leader to the right and then this one is creating leader to the left. So I'm going to select right. There you go. And then you can see that you can also change the justification of your leader, uh, leader line here. So let's say I'm going to select leader at middle right. There you go. And then I will select your add left straight or add left side straight leader. So I click that one and then I'm going to change the <clears throat> justification. So I click that one. There you go. And then you can now just arrange your leader head. Okay, just like that. You can click that. You can drag that one. And you can do it like this. Okay, so it depends on, it depends on your preference. All right. Now, the next thing that we will be doing is we are going to add diffuser and duct tags by category. So we are going to add tag. Okay, so to add a tag, so what you can do is you can type TG, so that is the shortcut of tag, or again, you can go to annotate, and then you, se you can select here tag by category. Okay, so I'm going to select this one, and then you can see here you have options on your options bar. So you have an option if you want to make it uh, vertical, model, and horizontal and then you can load here the text or the tag that you want and then if you want to have a leader line for your tag you can check that one 
or for this case I'm going to uncheck this one okay and then you will notice this area here will becomes disable why because the we disable the leader I don't want to have a leader line so I'm going to select a uh, supply diffuser so let's say for example I'm gonna click this one so there is your tag so I click that and then again you can just move that just to make it tidy okay so you can select that one okay so let's say I'm gonna add two more so that's my tag then you can terminate it by escaping or selecting modify so I'm going to select that tag and then I can use the arrows on my keyboard okay to change or modify the location of your tag right and then you can also <clears throat> select it from here from the quick access toolbar just click that one again without a leader let's say I'm going to tag my uh, air terminal so I will click that one and then I will select your modify to terminate it okay now the next thing that we will be doing I'm going to teach you how to load tags from library okay so to do that let's select the tag again or okay so instead of doing that I go to the annotate tab and then you see there's a arrow down here on your tag it's an expanded panel so whenever you see an arrow down near the name of the panel so that's an expanded panel you click that one and then you can select here loaded tags and symbols okay you can click that one and then you can see here the loaded tags and symbols dialog box as you can see for the air terminal there is already loaded tags that's the default tag and then we also have tags here for duct fittings ducts duct placeholder electrical equipment etc etc okay right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the duct here so where's the duct okay so as you can see duct size tag is the one that is loaded so I'm going to change this one I'm going to select that and then click the drop down arrow so I'm going to select here uh, let's say uh, turn the other options here okay how about I select top, uh, top elevation duct tag okay so for the flex duct I will select flex duct tag <coughs> rectangular okay so flex duct so that's for my flex duct okay so what else okay so for the duct so this is the one that I have selected okay so basically this is how you change the tag that you're currently using from another loaded tags in your project okay you just need to go to this uh, dialog box and then after that just select OK right so that's how you change it so the next time you tag again so like <clears throat> for example I want to tag my duct here I will select the tag and then without a leader so I'm not going to select this one so there's the type of the tag for my uh, duct there okay and then for the flex duct okay so for the flex duct it's only this one okay so this one means uh, the tag cannot detect or the size for the tag or for the duct here is questionable so if you want to check what is this questions here question mark so you can select that tag and then you can select edit family and then you'll be able to know what is the category that that particular one is looking for so it's looking for width and height okay so that is the reason why we are seeing there a question mark why because this one is circular 
Okay, so that one is circular. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this tag, this uh, tag uh, type of tag. So I'm going to go ahead and select again the annotate, go to the uh, loaded tags and symbols, and then I will look for the flex tag. So how about hmm, no other... No other tags that is loaded aside from the flex duck tag rectangular because this tag here or this duck that we have here it needs to be rectangular for this one to be able to show us the correct uh, tag for our uh, flex duck because right now this one is circular so that's why there's a question mark all right so basically that's how it works now if you want to tag your your elements with a leader so you can also do that so let's say i will select the tag so this time i will select the leader so i can click for example this one here and then i will drag that and then just select modify here so you can now see here my leader line so there's a leader line so i can click that blue node again and then i can just adjust that okay Right, so that's how you do that one. Okay, so we can also tag our pipe plan. So let's say I will go to the project browser and then I will look for my uh, HVAC pipe. Okay, so this one, so I will select the level one. Let's say the A, double click. Okay, so let us put some tag here. So again, I'm going to select uh, the tag tool. And then I'm going to make sure that horizontal is selected and then with the leader line attach end. Okay, so let's tag this pipe here. There you go. Okay, so I can also tag this equipment here. Then I can also tag this pipe here. Okay, so that's how you place your tag to your pipe. So it's the same. So it's standard. Okay, so any elements that you want to place a tag, so that's how you do it. You just need to make sure that the tag that you want is loaded in your project. So if you're going to select your tag again, you can see that you can click this one, the loaded tags as well. So you can select it from your uh, uh, options bar as well. And then it will again open the loaded tags and symbols. So from here, so let's say, for example, the tag that you're looking for is not loaded for your let's say for your doc so you can always select your load family so you can select that load family and then just look for the library so let's say my uh, imperial library here okay i do not have any other families loaded here so how about the english hmm it's not there really i think I didn't install it properly because these are the only available families in my project. Okay, so how about Revit? No. Yeah. Okay, so I, I wasn't able to install all the family. But basically, just in case you have other tag families that you want to be loaded inside your project, so this is how you do it. Okay? You use your loaded tags and symbols and then just select load family. Okay, now what else that we can do here? So if you select your tag again, so you have an option here to have an attach end or free end. Okay, so this one is attach end option. This one, so there is an attach end option. So as you can see, your leader line is attached to the element, right? So if we are going to select the other option, so let's say free end, so I'm going to tag this one here and then you can see that I can freely change the location of my uh, leader line, right? So I can change that. So that's the option free end, okay? So you can modify the end of your tag because for your attach, as you can see, there is no blue node that you can use to adjust the end of your uh, attach tag whereas the other one you have a blue node there to modify that location okay right so basically that's your tagging 
So, very simple, right? On our next video, what we are going to talk about is creating dimensions on our uh, project. Alright? So, by the way, before we finish this one, let me just show you this quick. So, you can go to, uh, to the annotate. So, let's say you want to tag your whole floor plan. So, instead of selecting tag by category, you can select tag all. Okay? So, you can tag all at once your elements. So, you can click that one. So, let's say I only want to tag all the air terminals and then all the duct. So, you just check that one and then... You can specify here the tag orientation. So let's say horizontal without leader. So just select apply and then OK. And after that, the Revit will tag all your dock and all your air terminals in your current view. So as you can see, it takes a few seconds for it to be able to finish because there's a lot of docks and air terminals in this floor. And there you have it. Okay, so there's the tags. Okay, so now on your part, so just make sure that your tags are tidy enough so the other people who's going to look at the floor plan will be able to understand it. Okay, but basically that's how you tag all your elements in your floor plan by using tag all. Okay, so as you can see, there's now all the tags, right? Okay, so there you go. So thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.